The color of the content on your video wall can seamlessly blend into your lighting rig and that's a game changer. This is all about Avo with George Telez. Hello everyone, I'm George Telez and I'm here with Limelight Wired and today we're taking a look at the Avolite Sapphire Touch. It's one of my favorite lighting consoles. I've been using it out here in Las Vegas for about five years at nightclubs like Omnia and Jewel. It can pretty much handle everything and anything and I cannot wait to share all of the dynamic features with you. So let's dig in. The Sapphire Touch is one of Avolite's top of the line lighting consoles and it can pretty much handle any project a designer or a programmer may come across, such as a concert, church, theater, nightclub, or festival. Let's go over some of the strengths she has to offer. The Sapphire is the perfect size lighting desk. It's not too big and it's not too small. The Sapphire has plenty of faders, so that means lots of storage for your cues, playbacks, and effects. Also, the Titan software is super designer friendly when it comes to setting up your workspace. If you dig deep enough, you can find flaws in any product, but the Sapphire doesn't have too many weaknesses. However, we did find some small details that can better the desk. I wish you can dim the touchscreens. At times, I found them to be a bit too bright. I also wish they would reverse the bottom faders to look like the top row. It took me a while to get used to the hard buttons being on the top of the fader. The console has two 15 inch touchscreens and it's the heart of the Sapphire. Also, the touchscreens are aligned with every fader so you can visually see what cues you're triggering. The Sapphire has a total of 45 motorized faders, 30 on top and 15 on the bottom, each with 60 pages to toggle through. Using the Titan software, you can store cues, effects, or playbacks on the fader. You can also assign them to be rate or speed masters, giving you a lot of control right at your fingertips. Every fader has two hard key buttons called the flash and swap button. You can change the behavior of these buttons in key profiles. On the right hand side, you have two rows of macro buttons for all you macro lovers. These are great to store quick flashes and go to color effects. The Sapphire control interface is located on the right side of the desk and is loaded with great features like the smooth control wheels nicely backlit in blue. I also think the way Avolite's laid out the trackball, numeric pad, and armrest are very comfortable for those long programming sessions. All the required connections are found on the back of the console. On the left hand side are 8 DMX outputs, MIDI, Ethernet, and a connection for the external touchscreen. The main power for the desk is located in the middle of the rear panel. On the right hand side are connectors for another external touchscreen. Adding a wing just makes your lighting game stronger. You can go for the regular fader wing, which gives you an additional 20 faders. There's also the Tiger Touch fader wing. The wings connect to the USB ports on the back of the console. That's the icing on the cake. The integration between the Sapphire, the Titan software, and the AI server is incredible. Before, it used to be lighting and video, but now, using key features in the Titan software like Synergy, the color of the content on your video wall can seamlessly blend into your lighting rig, and that's a game changer. 